Hi, I'm Paige, and welcome to the Manchester Community Library. I know I say every week that we have a lot going on, but let me tell you, this week is a doozy. We've got the summer reading program that's just kicked off, and we have all kinds of programming to back that up, including additional things that aren't related to summer reading. So let's just uh, buckle in and we'll get started. Tuesday, June 27th, at 10.30 a.m., we have our first special guest star, our special readers for story time. This week, you can come and meet Ann Hunter, who's an artist, illustrator, and the author of many memorable children's books, such as Baby Squeaks, The Nest That Wren Built, Possum's Harvest Moon, and Cricket Song. Story time is going to be under the tent, and you can get to meet one of your favorite children's authors. Also, Tuesday, June 27th at 10.30, we have a program that is suitable for older kids, maybe looking at about seven and up. Audiences will see wonderful slides of our local butterflies presented by Jerry Schneider, who's the creator of the award-winning butterfly game. Audiences can also answer questions such as, what is good butterfly habitat? How can we attract more butterflies into our community? When, how, and why do monarch butterflies go to Mexico? In addition to answering these questions, we're going to learn about interesting butterfly characteristics. For example, did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? Additionally, we're going to try and, uh, weather permitting, going to make some t-shirts with special designs after the end of this program. So that's from 1030 to 1130, ages 7 and up, our amazing butterflies. Also on Tuesday, from 2 to 4, it is the time of the month where we have our mystery movie matinee. And I would love to tell you the title of this movie. However, licensing rights prevent me from telling it to you. But I will let you know that if you join us in the Hunter Room this Tuesday from 2 to 4 p.m., you're going to laugh along with Robin Williams and Nathan Lane as they run their Miami nightclub. Tuesday also, from 3.30 till 5, we have another event of Art with Amelie. Do you love creating art? Because Amelie sure does, and you can join her every Tuesday afternoon in the YA Loft for a new artistic endeavor. This is a perfect group for anyone ages 10 and up. And yet again, on Tuesday night, from 5.30 to 7, we have Gmall back in the building. So Gmall presents this week, On the Margins of Europe, War Before the War. Until recently, a nine-year-long bloody standoff in the Donbass area of Ukraine was one of many sleeping wars, just another forgotten armed conflict. In July of 2014, when photojournalist Dmitry Belyakov was on assignment to cover the Malaysian Air Flight MH17 disaster that killed 298 people in the airspace above Ukraine, one of the European photo editors asserted that the only reason he was on assignment was the fact that Moscow-backed rebels had effectively killed a large group of Westerners. However, no one in the West, he continued, cared about the, quote, stupid war on the margins of Europe, end quote. Currently, support for Ukraine remains at the heart of Western countries' foreign policy, but is clearly not seen as a matter of life and death to those various countries. More effort should be put into enhancing Western perception and comprehension of the consequences of this unfolding tragedy. It is said that one must consult the past to learn about the future. Wars are not fought for the interests of ordinary people, as many residents on both sides of the Ukrainian front line know. Putin's invasion of Ukraine is so shocking in its scale and senseless brutality that it automatically triggers associations with World War II with its mass killings and destruction in pursuit of revenge chimera. We still need to understand how we got here. Dmitry Belyakov is a freelance journalist from Moscow, Russia. Born in 1970 in the Vologda region of Russia, he graduated from the Foreign Languages Department of Yaroslav University and began to take pictures professionally in 1997. In his 26-year career, he covered armed conflicts and photographed countless soldiers, refugees, casualties, and atrocity. His searing battlefield images, often shot in the reflections of windows and through holes in mortar-scarred buildings, have appeared in some of the world's most prestigious publications, including the New York Times, the Washington Post, Forbes, Der Spiegel, and the Sunday Times of London. Yet Belyakov bristles at the label war photographer. I am an anti-war photographer, he says. I hate war because I've seen what war does. So tickets for this event are available for $22 on the Gmall website. However, Gmall has graciously offered to hold 10 seats available free to MCL patrons. Interested participants must register in advance on the MCL events page. Registrations are non-transferable and are available on a first come first serve basis. So if you're interested in coming in to watch this presentation, please make sure you register in advance because these seats will go fast. On Wednesday, June 28th, we have a very special presentation at the library. Lyman Orton is going to be coming to talk about his art collection, For the Love of Vermont. So local art collector Lyman Orton loves Vermont and the 20th century art inspired by the Green Mountain State. Working in conjunction with writer Anita Raphael to publish his book, 
Lyman is bringing his two loves to the Manchester Community Library in a presentation for the Love of Vermont, the Lyman Orton Collection. This collection began as Lyman's quest to, quote, keep the art of Vermont for Vermonters, end quote. And through his presentation, he aims to demonstrate how hard art is for everyone and not only for the art world. Discussing his pieces and his collection in plain English, Lyman and Anita tell stories of the artists who loved this beautiful state and how their love led to it becoming an artist's haven in the golden era of Vermont art, which was the 1920s through the 1960s. The evening will begin with a wine reception and an opportunity to purchase signed copies of For the Love of Vermont, the Lyman Orton Collection, before guests get to enjoy a beautiful slideshow and a discussion of that collection. Thursday, June 29th, in the first of our summer arts and crafts series, at 3.30, you can join local artist Trish Wheel as she takes you through a journey on how to repair your jeans with style. So everybody gets rips and holes in their clothing. And, you know, maybe we wear the holes, maybe we don't, maybe we buy patches. But you know what? Trish has a much better way. So come on in at 3.30 on Thursday and learn to do it with style. Also on Thursday, June 29th, from 5 to 7 p.m., we have a special presentation called Unpacking Lower Back Pain. Did you know that over 16 million people in the USA are affected by recurring or chronic back pain? You can join Felicia Leighton Ibbotson of Reform Body Coaching for a lecture and a demonstration. In this demonstration, you can learn why many people with recurring low back pain may have a hard time staying pain-free and also how to avoid it. You can learn a counterintuitive way to approach fitness that restores low back comfort. You're also going to find out what you need to know about muscles for better back health. So that's from 5 to 7 p.m. on Thursday the 29th. However, also from 5 to 7 p.m., we have a third installment of the Vermont Department of Labor, as the Department of Labor invites you to attend our, the next in our series of career readiness workshops. So this time we're going to be focusing on interview skills. You will have a job center specialist who's going to provide one-on-one -on -one help and small group help in order to be able to answer questions appropriate for interview skills. Do you have questions about maybe how you should ask, how you should dress, what you should say, what you shouldn't say? Come on in and we can find the answers to these questions. Every Saturday this summer, the MCL wants to invite you to our new special learning garden. So come and garden with OSHA from 10 to 11 a.m. There's something big happening outside and we want you to take a moment to dig your hands into the dirt and learn because that's what we're going to be able to do. So that's this week at the library. It's a lot going on and we hope to see you there. Meet you at the library.